Shady, this is Maria, and I'm going to show you how I make um, French bread today. What I'm doing is I got out my yeast. Normally I keep my yeast in the fridge. Um, this morning I got it out because I knew I was going to make bread today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I'm going to make enough for two small loaves in this kind of bread pan and I really recommend this because it's got the sides and you can buy this at um, I bet you could go even to Target if not Williams Sonoma. And I'm going to do two round ones, little round ones in this. So I'm making enough for four small uh, loaves. So I'm going to take, um, I've got a cup of warm water. It's not hot but it's warm. Uh, half a cup actually and I'm going to put two tablespoons of yeast um, in the warm water. And that's all the yeast I'm going to use. And just to make the yeasty beasties uh, do their thing, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. That's optional, but they say that if you want the yeasty beasties to work better, feed them some sugar. They like sugar. So I'm just going to stir that up in my Pyrex pitcher. And I'm going to pour it into my big bowl. And I'm going to go over and get two more cups of warm water from the sink. I know you can't see me, but you can hear me get the water. Again, it really is not hot. It's warm. Because if it's hot, then you're going to kill the yeasty beasties. And you don't want to do that. So two cups of warm water. And the water is what drives the amount of flour. Okay, so basically it's, I've got two and a half cups. Um, salt, so that's the other ingredient, so we have water, salt, and I just uh, throw in, it's probably, it probably ends up being two tablespoons of salt. Do everything by feel. The other thing I have done is I've preheated my oven to about 275, because you want your oven to be warm, just to have a warm place uh, to Rise, raise the, rise the bread. And now what I like to do is, oh, I probably need to add a little, some flour. Okay. I'm going to add probably just two cups of flour. And what I'm going to do is to do some of the kneading, I'm going to use the mixer. And I'm using the mixer just to get some kneading done. Do it quickly. I'll turn off the video camera in a minute, but um, you could do it all by hand. This gets some of the kneading done because they say you should knead uh, about five minutes. So I do, I don't know, a minute and a half or two minutes uh, with the mixer before I add in more flour. So I had my two and a half cups of water and my couple cups of flour. So I will go ahead and turn off the um, camera and I will turn it back on the next step.